Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Igo Fishing. Uh, so this spring has been very productive for striped bass fishing. Uh, striped bass are everywhere right now. The boats are doing good. Uh, shore fishermen are doing good. Uh, here are three lures that have been extremely productive this spring. And honestly, it's been going on about like two or three springs and falls that these lures have been extremely productive. And probably most fishermen in New York City and the surrounding areas go to lures. And uh, number one is the Diesel Minnow Hot Chartreuse by Z-Man. I mean, we've been honestly be killing striped bass on these. Like, it's been, it's really insane the amount of striped bass we've caught on these shads, man. I mean, uh, if you can get yourself a pack of those, get them. I mean, these are hot right now. Hot, hot, hot. In the bay, um, around uh, Hudson River, these, the, the chartreuse color uh, shads are just on fire right now uh so you want, might want to pick yourself up a pack of those they don't come with their own jig heads so uh you know you want to probably get your own jig heads you can get talk handy jig heads uh i think z-man has jig heads as well but i'll uh, really look into some quality jig heads with like larger hooks on them because uh the striped bass have been inhaling them and i've had a few different jig heads just get almost bent straight uh from the amount of fish that i've caught this was like last November where I was going crazy with the shads. Um, the next lure that a lot of people are using and being very productive with is the um, Yozuri Mag Darter bone color or white color. Uh, this is the six inch the six inch model and it's been extremely productive. It's good for day and night uh, and it's really just a, a wonderful plug to use and a lot of fish are being caught on it. Um, so then you have the classic SP minnow and this thing has been just money since I, I, we, you know I first heard about it like all, all my friends the fishing community on Staten Island especially have been just killing it with SP minnows in the bone color this is a bone SP minnow this, this is the floating uh, six, uh, six inch model um, yeah, this thing has been absolutely, and when, not only is this killing striped bass, but when bluefish come in, this is a bluefish killer. This just does absolute um, numbers on them, like it puts in numbers. So these are the three lures that uh, if you want to put into your arsenal that are producing right now in the Raritan Bay. It's the SP Minnow, bone color, six inch. The six and a half inch Yozuri Mag Daughter, bone. Also in black. You can also get that in black. That's also doing very good at night. And uh, right now, the, what is this? Seven inch chartreuse uh, Z-Man Shad on a jig head. Uh, I suggest you get Todd Candy jig heads. See if Z-Man has their own jig heads. But uh, you really want a quality jig head because when they're inhaling this bait right now. And they will bend your hook out, so you, you want to have, have quality jig heads on you to, um, you know, just stay productive on the water and make sure you're not ending your day early if they're like six, seven fish. So yeah, with that being said, uh, I'm going to be putting in, here's a few pictures of striped bass that have been caught by my friends on these lures. And uh, I, it's, uh, yeah, you can see it's just a lot of fish being caught, a lot of quality fish being caught. Um... And it's it's honestly just um, wow it's it's crazy this time of year probably one of the better springs that we have had in a long time and if you're not getting out there on the water trying to catch some of these striped bass you're really missing out so uh, you know get out there uh, I'm probably gonna be trying to get on a boat within the next two weeks trying to bring some boat footage from Sheep's Head Bay hey if you want you know if you can get out on any of the boats in Sheep's Head Bay do so you know. Uh, uh, the, the support for them is, is crucial right now with the rise in gas prices and the rise in uh, property in uh, slips that they are docked at. You know, let's support them. Let's let's get out there and show them love because you know they're out there twenty every day. You know, putting us on, trying to put us on fish and, and, and bringing a service to New York City that has been since forever. What as long as Sheep's Head Bay's been around. So let's try to get out there and show them some love. Give them some customer. Uh, some customer uh, some customers I guess yeah um, so uh, no yeah so you know let's go into um, real quick let's go into how you would use these 
So most of these lures, right? Most of these lures uh, that we're using are subsurface lures, or, or or at least being retrieved subsurface. Uh, you can't let them just sink down to the bottom. Try to keep them down to the bottom. But a lot of the strikes are happening just just maybe a foot under the surface. Uh, they're reacting. The fish are reacting to uh, live bait, reacting to movement. So it's a good time to just you know a slow retrieve. You don't have to as soon as it's the water to start bringing it back in. So just just. These um, subsurface retrieve, you want to just try, try to keep that uh, between subsurface and a foot below the water, and you'll most likely find your best success in that uh, water column. The mag darter, uh, good for shallower, shallower water, and you want to reel this in. Actually, both the mag darter and the Yozori SP, oh, no, I'm sorry, the Yozori mag darter and the S Daiwa SP minnow. You want to reel in slower at this point in the season. It's a little colder, the water's a little colder, so they're not going to be as, um, as from, oh, really not, not even just that. It's from what I'm, from what I'm told on these, the retrieve is different. It's not as a, like a sub subsurface retrieve like the Z-Mans. It's more or less a very slow, very methodical approach to your uh, retrieval. So you want to go a little, a lot, really a lot slower with the, with the uh, magdars and the SP minnows, if the water warms, you could probably speed up your retrieve and produce fish. But right now, from uh, all accounts, uh, you want to um, really uh, slow down your retrieve, almost just like a few cranks, you know, every 15 seconds. Okay, so let me just fix that real quick. So these are the ways you want to retrieve the baits right now. This is from what I've been hearing and from fishermen who are very successful right now. These are the ways they're fishing these lures. If you want to try to imitate that success, um, you know, that's what I suggest you do. Uh, if you like the advice that I've given, if some of these tips help you catch more fish, I'm so happy. Uh, what all I ask in return is that you, you know, like, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because, you know, I try to bring, um, these type of videos, you know, every other month, you know, try to try to keep uh, the hot lure in the limelight, try to get more fishermen onto what's working so they can catch more fish. Um, I, I, the IGF community is growing and I hope you can become a part of it. And I'm really looking forward to uh, interacting with you. If you just want to comment in the comment section and just try to, you know, pick my brain about what's working and what's not, you know, by all means, please and thank you. I'd, I'd love to interact with the, the, the IGF community. Uh, so, yeah, like, subscribe, and comment. And most importantly, stay beautiful, everybody. I go fishing out.